Hi there. Now in this question, we're given this diagram and it shows the curve y equals 3 minus 2x all cubed. And the tangent to the curve at the point with coordinates half 8. And what we've got to do is find the equation of this tangent, giving you answer in the form y equals mx plus c for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, the equation of the tangent then is y equals minus 24x plus 20. So I hope you got that one right. But if not, when you want to see how I did it, I'll just take you through the work solution. So essentially then, if we're to find the equation of the tangent, I'm going to look towards that tangent being of the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, a form that you should be familiar with for the equation of a straight line. x1, y1 is a point on the line, and that's going to be the point with coordinates half 8. m is the gradient, and we can get the gradient at any point on the curve by differentiating the equation of the curve with respect to x, and then substituting x equals a half in to find out the particular gradient at this point. And then we should be able to substitute our values in, then rearrange it into this form, y equals mx plus c. So that's how I'm going to go about doing this question. So we'll take our curve first of all, that is y equals 3 minus 2x all cubed. And we have to find dy by dx. Now, rather than expand the bracket out, because it's going to take a little while, we can differentiate this according to the chain rule. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with the chain rule. What we do is we let y equal, say, t to the power 3. So it can be any letter you like. I'm just going to pick t, though. OK, y equals t to the power 3, where essentially t is equal to 3 minus 2x. So the chain rule is that dy by dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. It's as if these dt's cancel, just leaving us with dy over dx. So this is the chain rule. And you should be familiar with this then. So what we do, first of all, is we find dy by dt. So y equals t cubed. So dy dt would be 3t squared. So put 3 down. And instead of t, I'm going to write 3 minus 2x. OK. And that would be squared. 3t squared, OK, where t is 3 minus 2x. So that's dy dt. Now I need to multiply it but with dt by dx. So if I differentiate t with respect to x, we're just going to get minus 2. So put that down as minus 2 there. And if I clean this up, 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. And we've got then, that's multiplied with 3 minus 2x, all squared. OK, so that gives us the gradient then at any point on the curve. So we'll just border that off there. And now we need to find out the actual gradient at this point when x equals a half. So if we start off here by saying that when x equals a half, we've got therefore dy by dx is going to equal minus 6 then. And if we substitute x equals a half into here, 2 times a half is going to be just 1. So we're going to have the 3 minus 1, and that's going to be all squared. So 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Minus 6 times 4 is minus 24. And it's good just to check that we've got a negative gradient here, and that's what you would expect. OK? So now we're in a position to get the equation of the tangent. So therefore, just introduce this as therefore equation of tangent, OK, and we'll just put is, and what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be y 
minus y1, y1 is 8, okay, equals m, the gradient, which we've just seen is minus 24, multiplied by x minus x1, and x1 is 1 half. So if we now expand the brackets, we've got y minus 8 on the left here, expanding the bracket here gives us minus 24x, and minus 24 times minus a half is going to be plus 12. And so therefore, all I need to do is add 8 to both sides, and that leave me with y on the left, equals minus 24x, and 12 plus 8 is going to be plus 20. Okay?